picking up from the last video, two images of a cupboard have been captured using the Ferro Freestyle 3D in Ferro Scene. One image was from the left side of the cupboard and the second from the right side. The images have been saved as Scan01 and Scan02 and have been moved by default to the Scans cluster. It is wise to rename the cluster to more accurately depict the images within so they can be easily located and organized as more images are added. To create a new cluster, right-click the Scans folder option which will bring up additional options. Select New and from that menu click the option for Cluster. A window opens where the new cluster can be named, in this instance, Cupboard. Add scans to the new cluster by clicking and dragging them into the new cluster folder. Now is the time to rename these scans because once they are processed they cannot be renamed. Cupboard 1 and Cupboard 2 are good predictive names. Notice the markers placed in the cupboard. These markers are used to ease the process of registration or joining the images together. More about markers during registration process. For now, recall in the prior video Detect Markers was activated in the Options menu so the software knew to look for markers. Click an image from the cluster to work with it and to use the tools located on the toolbar above. Select the measure tool located to the right of the level and then click a starting point at the top of the cupboard door and then click an endpoint at the bottom of the opening in the cupboard. Notice three separate dimensions are displayed the vertical distance, the horizontal distance, and the distance from point A to point B. In this example, 1.937 meters. The Point Size tool gives control of the size of points in a point cloud. Use this tool to change the saturation of points to display a cleaner image based on your personal preferences. Change the orientation of a view by clicking on the two options at the end of the toolbar. Switch from Examine View to Fly View, which allows us to float around the objects freely. The View Perspective can be changed from Perspective View, which is three-dimensional, to Orthographic or two-dimensional by clicking on the corresponding option. In the next video in this series, you will learn how to move the scans in scene processing. One final step before leaving the screen is to save your work by clicking the Save option on the top left of the screen.